What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. Good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating a drink. Look at the damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, please no. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what's up, people, what is up, it is me, L Teddy 27 and I am back for another review. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our review for Pose. It is season three, it is episode five, it is entitled Something, Something Borrowed, Something Blue. I had to look at my notes. <laughs> so, what's up, people, we are back. Now, let me say... On the whole, I really enjoyed this episode because it gave me all of the things that I needed. It what Pose generally is very hyperbolic, very exaggerated, very over the top and extra with the emotions and with the emotional extremes. It has these big highs, these big lows and so forth. And this wasn't an episode with that. It was right in the pocket and right in between. Because, and I think you need that with a drama. You can't every week be, you know, snatching me from wall to wall with emotions. One week I'm, you know, overly happy. One week I'm overly sad, damn near crying my eyeballs out. I need a comfortable balance. And we had that this episode. Also, what we had more so in this episode was um, there were parts of it that were that was rushed, but it hasn't been as rushed and forced down your throat. Just take it, take it, eat the cake anime like previous episodes were where you felt like in previous episodes this season, they were just trying to get it over with and get it done with. Um, so and maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong in that, but that's kind of the way I felt about it. I didn't feel as rushed as I have in previous episodes. And um, I enjoyed it. I got to sit back and just really enjoy this episode. So um, I was I was good about it. Um, there were things I loved. There were things I hated. And you want that in a good drama. Let me fix my camera, y'all. There we go. You don't want... You can't like everything. Everything can't be good. So I liked that there were parts and people that I loathed and that I hated. So we start off Electra. Listen, Electra got money, money now. She got real money now, okay? She's talking about eating caviar every day. We see her buying, uh, paying cash for her fancy, you know, apartment. Looks like to be lower Manhattan down there with the rich people at. Electra looked like she got money, money now. Um, what am I eating on, snacking on? We're back to the red velvet chewy chips, ahoy, because they're so good. Don't judge me. Anyway, um, mm, so good. So we get the backstory. Backstory is she was talking, she had dinner with one of her trans sisters, Miss Orlando. And Miss Orlando had come into money. Electra was like, listen, I'm how you paying for all of this, this, that, and the third. So she tells her the story, listen, I'm I done got in with the mafia, with the um Italian mob, mafia, whatever. They paying me money to do business with them. I can get you on, girl. She gets Electra put on, Electra uh, meets up with the um Italian mafia. They tell her, listen, we run, we're moving a lot of drugs. We need some places to clean our money. You know, money laundering. Kind of like what you saw in Power, where Ghost and them was using the um the laundry mats in the beauty salon to clean up their money. That's what um they got going on. And so they the Electra says, Well, I'll throw out a price. They said, whatever you price you got, time multiply it by ten and it still won't be enough. So um, because she tells them about her phone sex line, they were like, Listen, that's fine, it's a legitimate business, we can clean our money up through there. And so that's what she does. So that's this is how Electra came up on all this money. And she got a lot of money. But if you know, during that time, um, crack was the drug of choice during the, uh, where there was a lot of money being made during the 80s with crack. In the 90s, you moved more so to um, heroin. And cocaine was still doing its thing as well. But a lot more um, heroin and cocaine in the 90s than just the crack that you had in the 80s. And we, you know, is also a big thing. So... Drugs is how she's making her money um, through money laundering with the um, Italian mafia. We then see Angel and Poppy at home, and she wakes up. She's looking at wedding magazines. She's, you know, dreaming about, you know, what she wants to do and how she wants to do the wedding. And her and Poppy talk about, we'll have something small, intimate, you know, just me, you. And, um, we go down to the courthouse and have um, Blanca come down there and um, be the witness. Now, this is the part that just didn't make sense. It's 19, what, 94, 95? Y'all know good and damn well that it wasn't no gay marriage. 
You know, goddamn 19. They were, we were not even dreaming of gay marriage. Hell, they hadn't even repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell at that point, I don't think. Hell, people were still out getting gay. In 1994, 95, for the, for the young people around, come come, come close to young people, come close, because some of y'all are too young. Y'all was not born, or if you were born, you was too young to even know what was going on. Back in 1994 and 95, it wasn't what you see today. There wasn't tolerance like there is today. You didn't see us splattered all over television. We weren't all in the media. There was no social media. The internet was not around. Internet, internet was around, but it wasn't what you got today. Nobody really had the internet back then like that. There wasn't this liberation. We were still fighting for rights and stuff like that. And there was still a lot of hatred, loathing. It was still no acceptance nowhere in America. So this was a little far-fetched. For them to just believe, oh, we just going to go out here and go to the city. Now, it's one thing for you to say we're going to have a ceremony, you know, a marriage ceremony without going to the courthouse and getting legal documentation. That's fine. But there was no way on God's green earth in 1995 they were going down to somebody's courthouse talking about they're going to sign marriage licenses and have a witness. Not even in liberal, progressive as New York. Sorry, honey. It wasn't happening. You couldn't have hell. Marriage, the first state that allowed gay marriage didn't come until well into the 2000s. Girl. And that was before it became federal law. Whatever. And even that was what when. How long has gay marriage been on the books as a federal law? law? Has it been 10 years? I don't think it's been 10 years. Because it came under Obama. So I know it ain't been 10 years. Anyway, somebody will put it in the comment section, but... Yeah, that was real far-fetched. Anyway, we then see Electra at Blanca's house, and Electra that went and bought her daughter a brand new, um, brand new furniture for the house, a brand new dining room table where they could sit down and eat nice um, meals off of, and so forth. So they sit down and have a meal. It's just the girls. It's Electra, Lulu, um, Blanca, and Angel. So just the girls. Now. Um, Lulu says, well, you buying this for uh, that daughter, uh, Electra, what you buying for me? She said, girl, I'm paying for you to go to rehab. And they have that whole thing. Girl, Lulu is in the whole ass denial. She don't want to get off drugs. She, you know, tries to blame it on the fact that she's still grieving and mourning the death of Candy, which she probably is. But Electra uh, said, listen, we all still grieving Candy. But, girl, that don't mean you need to be on drugs. But, you know, there was that whole back and forth. And so we found out Lulu is now dating the bouncer down to weren't they like talking or something the Lulu somebody was talking to Jerome in either last season or season one the bouncer down to the um club I forget who somebody will remind me so long ago anyway but Lulu said that's who she dating who was it I don't remember whatever so I also noticed at this dinner I wrote down in my notes Angel called Electra Ma she then called Blanca Ma later on at that same dinner table. What I vividly remember, the first person she said, thank you, Ma, was to Electra. And we remember Electra is um, Angel's mother. Blanca and, uh, and um, Angel were sisters. Uh, um, Electra was mother. So that threw me off. And then um, Angel announces to them that they said that her and Poppy set a date for the wedding. Electra had this whole idea, we're going to make it a big thing because we never could dream of being married and this would be a big, um, lavish, extravagant wedding. Everybody's going to be there. It's going to be big down at the plaza. We're going to rent out, you know, all of that good shit. So, um, and she said, Electra said, listen, I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to give you the wedding of your dream. Angel goes home to tell Poppy all about this, you know, uh, not this, um, you know, good news. And so far, Electra's going to pay for it. Not this big, beautiful, extravagant wedding. Everybody's going to see it. Poppy is like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know you don't believe that shit. So motherfuckers should be looking at me like, your broke ass can't even pay for your wedding. He was like, no, I'm not going for it. Nope, I'm not here for it. Poppy don't want no parts of nobody's hands out, handouts. Poppy the next day goes down to Electra's job and goes in and lets have and sprays his testosterone all around um, her office. Just shoots his load of testosterone and machismo all around Electra's office. Electra's sitting there so unbothered. Like, go ahead, girl. That's all you got. That's all. That's all you got. <laughs> Blanca sitting there. And so she basically, Blanca and Electra tell Angel, not Angel, Poppy, listen. Actually, Poppy's real name is Angel in real life, which is so ironic. But anyway, 
tells Poppy, listen, this is not really just about you. Blanca says y'all can make it about you, but it's about more than just you. It's symbolic. It's for all of me and my uh, all of the trans women, and we never thought we could have this, and this, that, and the third, and how beautiful it's going to be, and she'll be the first, and she won't be the last, and this, that, and the third to get married, and this is important. That, and so they were like, so um, Poppy was like, well, I guess it is tradition for the mother of the bride, technically father of the bride, to pay for the wedding or whatnot. And so they convinced him to go along with it. And he acquiesces because they talk about how much it's going to mean for the whole community um, um, and so forth. So he agrees and so forth. Then Electra takes the girls dress shopping. So it's Electra, Lulu, Angel, Blanca. Um, and they go shopping for Angel to get a dress. They try all these dresses, this, that, and the third. They finally find a dress. So the dude that's the, the um, sales guy, attendant, whatever, that's helping them, gay guy, says, oh, my owner, the owner wants to come out and, um, you know, thank you all for, you know, purchase or whatever. Owner comes out there, takes a look at them and says, girl, basically, the read was that he came in there and immediately clocked them. That was the real read. Even if he let them buy it, the read was he walked in there and immediately looked around and said, oh, girl, I know you the fuck lying, which means that he had clocked all y'all immediately, Okay. So, I'm just being honest. Baby, when I tell you, he wouldn't sell to Electra. Electra says, my platinum, um, American Express, I think she said, with no limit, da 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 It's not about um, accepting us. It's about accepting our money. Baby, he looked at her like, girl, I don't care about you and your money. Your kind is not welcome here. It's about the principle. Baby, when I tell you Electra undressed him and emasculated him, when I tell you she emasculated that young man to Paul when she talked about his nutsack dragging on the ground and his impotence. Oh, dear God. She drug him. It just completely emasculated him. And she told him, this isn't the last you'll hear from me. And they left without getting addressed. Poppy is at work and he gets this visitor. So this lady named Jimena comes to go visit him. We find out that Jimena is the sister of his ex-girlfriend named Marisol. So he meant to tell him all about, um, you know, that his ex-girlfriend, Marisol, died, um, you know, and I'm thinking it's a drug overdose because she talked about how she could never get over the drugs, this, that, and the third. And so long story short, she tells Angel, listen, she had a son. It's your son. The boy is five years old. He's been living with me. He's about to go into kindergarten. He's, his name is Esteban. Da, 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 da. He's a junior. He's named after Poppy. So... He, she was like, he was like, can I go meet him? So they go to the girl's house, um, and the son is there watching TV. And they have this exchange where the son talks about, you know, I would, but I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And Angel breaks down, broke me down, shut me down. Child broke me all the way up, honey. Child, he was crying. I was crying. We all was crying, child. Anyway, and so you can see that he he probably looked at that boy and took one look and said, yep, that's my goddamn son. And so... Um, the next, and so, you know, he, he realized, yeah, this is my son. I got to take care of him because his mom is dead. It's my son. It's my responsibility. He didn't even know he had a son. So then we see, um, they cut over to Electra. Now, Electra this whole time, you know, when, when we see her, she has this dude that she's paying for to be with her name, Hot Chocolate. We saw him earlier when she first, you know, had the girls at the beginning of the episode. She had everybody over her house, the whole family over her house for dinner when she got the new apartment. She had on this dress that was everything. I think it was pink at the top. I know it was black at the bottom with this big um, skirt and everything. The dress was everything. And you know, big, tall, statuesque um, Dominique Jackson wearing it, Electra wearing it, everything. And on the other side of the table was this cute piece of um, chocolate, milk chocolate over there, all chiseled and, you know, muscular. Child. It was 90s type of cuteness. That was what was in back in the 90s. Um, chocolate or real dark skin, bald head, chiseled up. All mid-90s. That was straight mid-90s. They say the 80s no more. Where you had to be high yellow and light skin in the 90s. We was all about our milk chocolate and our dark chocolate and bald hair and chiseled up. Made out of granite. That's what the 90s was given. And Electra's had to board her one. Anyway, so back to where we were in the story. Dude, she called him hot chocolate. Hot chocolate that been paid for. He's sitting there eating, I think it was goose liver or something like that. Talking about how good it is. She was like, girl, when you done, go ahead and pack up your shit and get out because you don't got to look too comfortable. Girl, you wasting crumbs in my bed. 
I'll have you escorted. I should call the, the doorman the bellman. Make sure you frisk him for jewelry and silverware before he get out, because he got to get out of here. He was like, dream, I'm falling for you. No, boo. I'm flipping the script. Just like you men always have us fall in love with y'all before y'all throw us to the curb. I'm about to throw you to the curb after you done fell in love with me. And really, you ain't fall in love with me, but you just fell in love with my money and everything I could offer you. Girl, keep it going. Keep it moving. I was here for it. I was here for it, Electra. Very empowering. Anyway, Electra then meets up with the little Italian mafia bosses. Because remember what happened to her at the um, at, um, uh, dress, wedding dress shop. She tells them, listen, I need y'all to uh, push it hard on this man. So they were, like, they were like, you need us to beat him up or whatever. She's like, mm -mm, nope, that's too good for him. I need y'all to go down there and steal. I want that dress. They were like, but isn't it going to be obvious if we just steal one dress? She was like, no, steal them all. I want you to steal all of them. So she concocts this plan that has the mafia steal the, all of the dresses in the shop. So then we see Electra take um, Angel, Blanca, and Lulu for a day of pampering. Uh, and this is the day of um, Angel's Black Bachelorette party. And they get, you know, the whole spa treatment. They get, you know, personal treatments with the mud baths and the spa and the waxing. You know, all of the pampering and stuff like that. Child, I was getting my whole... I really wasn't paying attention because I was getting my whole life dancing to You Want This My Girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, uh, you said I have heard before oh, Men have been easy Boy, you got to please me One makes me think of you mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, uh, If you want my email You better work it, boy ah! mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know you want this By the time I do this to you You'll be begging me, mama I'm sorry, y'all. I had a whole Janet Jackson, Queen Janet moment. You want this? It's my song. It's the video. Y'all know it day in the desert at the end of the video when she started, you know, throwing it back. Her and the girls in the middle of the desert breaking it down, throwing it back. Ow, ow. You want this to my jam. I'm saying for it. Anyway, sorry, I had to have a moment. You mad? Judge your mama, don't judge me. I don't care. You mad? You watching? Anyway, um, then um, we at the end, at, um, later that night, after all of the pampering, Electra has this big, extravagant, gaudy, lavish dinner at this expensive place or whatever um, that she looked like she done rented out. And she invites all of the girl, trans girls from the ball, all of the trans women from the ball. She invites all of them there to enjoy this bachelorette party with Angel. And Angel's glad that everybody's there to see her and so forth. And Electra, you know, did not, um, you know, she pulled out all the stops, you know, she spared no expense. And, um, so she was like, yeah, we're uh, glad that, um, everybody's going to be here, but everybody deserves to look nice for this big occasion. And Electra channeled her inner Oprah Winfrey. You get a wedding dress and 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 everybody gets a wedding dress. Because remember, she had to have the mafia steal all the dresses. So baby. Um, so everybody is trying on wedding dresses and everything. Then they go to the bachelorette party with the scrippers. The scrippers were, meh. I wasn't impressed by the strippers. What you could have spent a little more money on those good strippers, Electra. But now, in my mind, I feel like Electra is doing too much. She's throwing away around too much money. She's doing way too much, and this whole stealing all of the wedding dresses i think it's gonna come back to bite electra now i'm gonna hate it if at the end of this series the series finale we got to watch electra get carted off in chanel bangles down to rikers island or somewhere i'm not gonna be here for that but it is what it is um i don't know <clears throat> anyway it makes me think of mother shannon balenciaga who around this time mid to late 90s was had you know laundered 17 million dollars and got carted off to rikers i mean to jet prison for several years as well for that type of stuff wonder if this is where that story is bothered borrowed from anyway angel comes home and tells um angel comes home after the whole batch of red poly she's feeling good everything is good poppy is like listen I got some news. She was like, yeah, what? He says, you remember my ex-girlfriend, Mighty Soul? Yes, yes, yes. Da, 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 da. I found out she has a son. He's mine. And she was like, oh, okay. Well, and then she kind of questioned. She said, well, why was his sister 
Why would her sister come and tell you now? Why would she um, be, um, tell you all of this now, this, that, and the third? How do you know it's yours? And he was like, yes, it's mine. It, it, it's mine. Angel doesn't kind of seem here for the son. Then he said, I want him to come and live with us. Angel wants no parts of Poppy's son coming to live with them. And Poppy, there's this whole exchange. She was like, no, no, no. And Poppy is on his knees big and crying and screaming, you know, for her to let his son come live with him. And she kind of just walks out. And he was like, haven't I always stood by you through everything that you went through? That's all I'm asking for you. And she was like, she's not here for it. And she kind of walks out. And it kind of goes off from there. I take it that Poppy knows Angel is not going to win a fight between him and his son. Um, because that's his son. He's the father. He just, it's not like he was a deadbeat dad. He did not know. And so, you know, Poppy guy is the, is the kind of guy who has that heart where he's going to take care of his child. So, he knows that having given the choice between Angel and his son, he's going to choose his son. Which means that if Angel does never accept it, he's probably going to lose her. Angel, I think, realizes I did not sign up for this. I don't want this. And I see her side of it too. I didn't ask for this. It'd be one thing if she knew Poppy had a child from the beginning and um, didn't want his son, because that's a whole different story. You got to take the whole package. But she didn't know this was a part of the package. Neither did Poppy. And so Angel now has to make a decision as to whether or not she could do this or wants to deal with Poppy's um, son. I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know what's gonna happen um, between them, but I don't see um, it ending well. Also, I don't see this thing with Electra ending well either. Um, I think probably what's going to end up happening is they're going to write it where Blanca ends up being the only one that ends up being happy in all of this. Fratel going to die. Electra going to go to jail. Angel and Poppy going to split up. Angel going to end up taking care of his child. I mean, Poppy going to end up taking care of his child. Angel going to end up with nobody. And Blanca going to end up with the dude Christopher living happily ever after. I don't know. If it ends up being like that, I'm going to be so mad because that's going to be way too predictable. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. That was Post Season 3, Episode 5. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get in the comment section and argue, argue about what we saw. Until next time, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely. We out.